Oh, and today we're taking an updated look at Lawbreakers. This will probably be my last E3 video. I played a lot of new games over there in LA and I've been posting videos on them all week. If you missed any, go check them out. BF1 obviously and a lot of Ubisoft games. Titanfall 2, For Honor, that really surprised me how good it was. It was a super busy week for me but it's very cool to be able to play all of these games early and create content on them. So I hope you've been enjoying my coverage of the show there. So then, today, Lawbreakers. This was a behind closed door session on a new game mode called Turf War. It's basically a mix of domination and team deathmatch with a little twist on it. You've got three capture points, A, B and C, but they aren't always available to capture and once they've been captured they've got a cooldown before they can be reset and captured again if that makes sense. So you've got this very back and forth gameplay interspliced with team deathmatch with the purpose of you attempting to lock down an area and gain dominance of it just before the capture zone unlocks so you can take it and the first team to score 13 points wins the game. Fairly simple. The map is symmetrical and the B point is the big low gravity area. That's a massive gameplay mechanic in Lawbreakers. There are these low gravity zones where you can jump higher, you float around a bit and if you fancy it you can press control to fire backwards over your shoulder and propel yourself forwards to increase your movement speed whilst in the air. Certain abilities your character uses can create temporary low gravity zones as well. So if you guys remember a couple weeks ago I got hands on for the first time with this game and did a live stream on YouTube. Literally the first time I'd played it with some basic impressions and that was on a different game mode called Overcharge where you've got a battery to contend and you take it back to your base if you grab it it charges up and when it gets to 100% boom your team is going to score a point. I think this domination style game mode you're seeing here though works way better than that one in Lawbreakers. I just found it a lot more fun and I felt that it flowed a lot better for the style of game that this is. I really enjoyed playing this game mode and I only played three rounds but I think it's got a lot of potential. It's got this nice hectic mix of TDM and control. Do you want to capture their gimme flag or or do you want to try and dominate your gimme flag and maybe the middle point? On the flip side though, the problem for me with the battery game mode, overcharge, that's the other one, is that both teams share the same charge. So one team can dominate the game for 90% of it and then the other team can come in at the last second, steal the battery, take it back to their base and score a point. And I think that's fundamentally broken because you get this situation where one team can just save up their ultimates, storm the base at the last second, steal the battery and therefore an easy point even though they've only controlled the battery for a very small portion of the game. I understand that it paves the way for clutch turnaround underdog moments but in terms of creating a balanced esports arena game where people don't feel cheated I'm not so sure that it works that well. Instead a suggestion that I'd implement is that if the battery is in your base your base charges up and each team has a separate base charge that only builds up when you've got the battery in your base. If it reaches 100% there's a 30 second countdown in which the enemy still has an opportunity to take the battery back and they would throughout the whole period of the game and if they don't take the battery back the other team will score a point and their base then resets. A system like that is way more balanced in my opinion and it could still offer those clutch moments that make the game exciting. Imagine both teams bases are at like 95% and they're fighting over to get the battery in their base for just a short period of time so they can win the game. I think that would be pretty fun. I actually spoke to Cliff Blazinski and Arjan Brucey at the event. Lovely guys, two of the leading devs on the game, just chatting about their goals for Lawbreakers, some technical stuff too. They've got this game running at a really high tick rate, which is of course very important. All the check boxes are ticked. And they've said that they're already talking about making some changes to the game based on feedback. So for example, in this game there's health stations. Lots of people who've played the game think that these break up the pace a bit too much and would prefer health packs that respawn kind of scattered around the level instead. Something a bit more traditional maybe. And Cliff had the idea that say you manage to kill someone they'll drop a small health pickup that you can take. So if you kill three or four people going on a tear you can gain a bunch of health back really quickly and you wouldn't have to worry about falling back to a health station. I'd prefer that I think. Rewarding players who go for kills keep the momentum of the game flowing forward and progressive rather than making someone retreat. 
If I could give any feedback, I'm 100% convinced that the base movement speed is too slow in this game. This is a skill-based arena shooter and on all of the characters, if you're not in a low grab zone and you don't have any abilities to use, the movement speed is painfully slow and you get these little moments of boredom as you trot along to the next capture point. I think with this being an arena shooter, it's got to be faster than it currently is. Also, I'd love to see the time to kill decreased by a fraction and perhaps to keep the momentum of the game going, maybe kills or objective play could recharge your abilities a little faster than if you weren't scoring points. Overall, on first impressions, I think Lawbreakers is doing okay for an alpha. It's nearly there, it just needs something to tie all of the movement and combat systems together better, and it needs more speed. I'd personally like to see more low gravity zones in the maps too. The combat and traversal abilities really come into their element there and it makes the asymmetry in combat of each character way more interesting. Maybe experiment with having random moments in a map where the entire level goes low gravity for a small period of time. And finally, at the moment there's no emphasis on teamwork either besides going around the map together. I love to see some of the abilities synergize with teammates to encourage at least a little bit of team. Team play. And that's all for today folks, do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. There should be more slots for alpha opening up soon so hopefully you'll be able to try this out and what are you thinking based on the gameplay here. If you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up, if you didn't a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.